Wimsey. And we're Toastmasters. Previous president, current president. We don't look like it right now because this is our at home time. We don't have to be Toastmasters. Toastmasters extraordinaire. One part of Toastmasters is improvisational speaking, where you come up with a question called a table topic and challenge people to answer that or another question that they don't know about for a minute to two minutes of time. It can be really challenging coming up with a good idea for that. And the word for today is extemporaneous. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I want spelling. <laughs> so part of the trouble people come up with sometimes is trying to figure out what questions to ask, what to do for that. We thought, let's give a few ideas of some of the weird topics we've come up with or we've done at our club for table topics. Let's see. We don't remember, so we're just going to take it that way. Um, I think this first one is yours, Jess. Ah, I pretended to be a TV producer for a fairy tale TV network. And then I gave each person who came up a theme. So it was either sitcom, game show, talk show, reality TV, some kind of genre there that they had to pitch me a TV show for this coming season on Fairytale Network. Nice. And you don't have to do this, but I went a little over the top and got dressed up like a fairy, what I thought a Fairytale Network host would wear. Um, so I had pink and black stripes, I had my hair up, I had big obnoxious glasses on, poofy skirt. It was fun. Our club had a great time with this one. There were some really weird pitches and it was exciting. I was happy. So the second one, Superhero Academy. So I did one where we were checking new students into Superhero Academy. We had already tested their abilities a little bit and we needed some guidance from them about what direction they wanted to take. So I told them what basic abilities they had, mentalism, uh, elemental control, ability to adapt, that kind of stuff, and asked them to choose whether their focus of study would be, for instance, in mentalism, ESP, or mental control. Uh, if they were on sort of adaptability, I asked them if they wanted to be able to uh, traverse in space without any issue or to traverse under the water without any issue. Elementalism, which element would they choose, and kind of why, so we could guide them in the right direction. This worked out pretty well. And some people took it in a super criminal direction. I don't know what he's talking about. Mm, indeed. It was a lot of fun. I think the next one's yours, Jess. Yep. Uh, this one is Sell the Book. Basically, I brought in a stack of... a stack. I actually had a chest full of books that I brought in and had people blindly pick one. And they had to sell us the book of just based on the cover art, nothing else. So just come up with what they thought the story was and quickly get us to be interested in it. I, I don't see the point of this one because we all know the covers accurately portray exactly what's in a book mm -hmm. at every occasion. So that was, that was also <laughs> fun and it's a quick one you can do last minute if you need to just throw something together in a hurry. Throw five or ten books in a bag and you're good to go. So the next one is not one we created, but it's kind of fun. Take random objects from your house, preferably the weirder the better, and put them in bags, little brown paper bags on a counter, and have everyone choose one And when they come up, and they have to take the item out and decide what this does. And this is very similar to some old game shows of which I don't know the name of right now, but where people had to do exactly that and tell whether they were lying or which one was true. The stories you'll get for these are amazing and fun and delightful for everyone, particularly when you know people know what they actually are, but tell you a different story instead because it's more amusing. Next one is Let's Make a Deal. Um, I did this one a month or two ago and it was super fun. I pretended to be the game show host and called people up, made them describe what crazy outfit they were wearing that drew my attention to call them up, and then had a series of envelopes, boxes, bags, just a ton of different weird things that they could choose between. 
and then whatever question was in that item is the one that they had to answer and had to talk about and all of them were game show related. Nice. The next one I did was News Anchor. I didn't actually do this one. It was done at our club. Yes. But it's News Anchor and you play as the person running to uh, table topics. You play the host of this new show and you keep sending it to your various correspondents in the field. And one of them is a news person, one, or one is a weatherman, one is the sports personality. This has, a, and they give on the spot reports of what's happening. Now, you can give them a little lead in that, that tells them what they might be doing. Or you can also just change genres completely with this one and be flexible and say, hey, we're going to be in a science fiction world here while we do the news. We're going to be in a fantasy world while we do the news. It has endless possibilities. All of them are amusing and fun. Another one that I did was Mythical Noah's Ark, where the unicorns, based on the old song, The Unicorn, I think it's called, um, the unicorns didn't make it on the ark. So Noah is taking last minute uh, submissions and applications for filling the unicorn's place from all of the mythical creatures and you are assigned a mythical creature like a fairy or a dragon or different things like that and you have to argue your case for why you should get the spot that the unicorns left vacant. Absolutely. And as a closing bonus, we also did one more and that was where we put various imaginary travel destinations and itineraries inside of sealed envelopes and made people open them up and choose the flyer for the place they were going to go on their imaginary vacation. And some of these were in space, some were below the ocean, some were to just really weird places. And they had to tell us what they were looking forward to most about that vacation and how, what they were excited about doing. For a bonus bonus, that's right, two uh, bonuses. What? For Christmas, during our Table Topics time uh, segment, we do a gift exchange, uh, a Yankee swap kind of thing. But the rules are not the traditional Yankee swap. For this one, you opened your present um, and then you decide whether you want that or something someone else has and then you have to argue them for it. You each get your normal one to two minute table topics time and argue over who gets it and then the rest of the group gets to vote on who had the best argument. It got brutal. It was nice, it was fun. And these were not normal arguments of, well, I happen to like it or could, people made up the most wild random excuses. I have 27 kids, as you all know. <laughs> And I need this for, <laughs> it was delightful and everyone get into the spirit of it and that was just really fantastic. And that, those are your ideas for random table topic, topics, I guess. If you're enjoying these videos, please hit subscribe and like the video. And now, let's, let's frost, frost the cake. cake.